Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about test ng annotations. Test ng has set of annotations and each annotation has set of attributes. And these are the following annotations. One is before and after annotations. And in the before annotations we can see before suite, before test uh, and before groups etc. And in the after annotations we can see after suite, after test, after groups etc and at data provider annotation is basically is used to supply data for a test method and factory annotation is basically used to return an object again that can be used by test engine at listeners are used to define listeners on test class at parameter annotation is basically used to send parameters to a test method and by defining at test annotation a method can be marked as a test method and we are going to see each and every annotation and its attributes in our later videos and you can also find more information about these annotations as well as the attributes of each annotations in the testng official website that is uh, testng.org and you can click on the documentation after reaching to the testng.org you can click on documentation once you click on documentation just scroll down you can able to see the annotation section where you can able to see all the annotation and these are the before and after annotations and these are the attributes which are applicable for all these annotations and for the data provider annotation the attributes are applicable name and parallel and for factory there are no attributes and for listeners there is a value attribute and for parameters again there is a value attribute and for test annotation we can see there are a lot of attributes such as always run data provider enabled if you want to make a test as uh, disabled or enabled you can able to use this um, particular attribute on the test annotation yes we are going to see all these annotations and the attributes applicable for these annotations practically in our next or in our later videos thanks for watching